Alright, so this is the AFK platform. Right now I have everything turned off. But uh, this is what I mean by a little bit too much checkerboard, because I had this checkerboard... And I'm you. it was like two builds ago, and then I have another bit of checkerboard I'll show you in a little bit. I sure would like your advice. Wow, well, a couple guys spawned in this room. Sounds like more than a couple. Yep. If you kind of turn your camera to the side, you can get a good look of, of the uh, iron farm from the side. Which side? Over here? You see it? Down here? Is your render distance far enough that you can see it? Off that way is a guardian farm. I say guardian farm, but a sea temple that will become a guardian farm. Oh. Is that the one we found when we were just yep. looking just around to see where we find something? Yep. I also found a uh, swampland that way that I put a portal to. And there's also a flower island that way if I ever need dyes. And there's an end portal at like 600, 300. No, 600, 311. That's why I remember it. <laughs> Let's go take it to the donor village where I got my original... Whoa, look out! You're under fire. Are you okay over there? Yeah. Civilization. And there's nobody here. Oh, there's some pigs. Inside the houses. Uh, yeah, here's one guy. And a golem. Yeah, I was trying to protect these guys. The first village I found, I didn't protect them or guard them at all. I didn't put a fence up. And I went back one day and all of them were gone but one. It derailed my plans entirely for like three months. Oh, I think that actually reminds me of a... A game mode there used to be not like a an actual game mode but it was something people did uh, you get together with friends and you find a village and then you have like one day to fortify it oh, and so then the task is to to like build a wall and, pretty, and then you're pretty much under siege at night from the, the zombies and skeletons and stuff trying to get in to kill the, the villagers <laughs> cool set traps and things yeah, set traps, get weapons, and just whatever you can to help the uh, the village survive. I so see you got your farm all rainbow segmented. I just did that. That was a very recent episode. It's part of my planning to fail is failing to plan episode series. <laughs> I think I started watching that, but I skipped over that part because I wanted to see what you were doing at the end. It's all good. For the thing you started the video for. Right, exactly. I know. I kind of mix and match and go into different places sometimes. I totally get that. I think I need... I don't know if I need any other colors. I think I've got them all. Need some of those rainbow sheep from the mini game that we had. That's Those are Jeb sheep. You just put a name tag on one of these guys with Jeb. Oh, yeah? Yep. That does it give you cool rainbow though. dye, or is it just no. whatever <laughs> color it happens to be when you cut it? I don't know about that. I've never sheared a rainbow sheep. Hmm. Only one point. way to find out. I know, right? i got to get a name tag and name one of them Jeb. I've got name tags back in my base. I'll do that. We'll make a little thing of it. Uh, how do I get up here? How do I get up here? Here we go. You with me? Yeah. You ever see my pumpkin build? Um, no, I think you were telling me about it, though. You built a giant pumpkin. Yeah. It's a pumpkin farm. You were farm. telling me about it. I'm kind of surprised no enders have come and taken everything. Do they like pumpkins? Oh, there's a guy living inside. Yeah, the, he. there's another portal up in the door over here behind the waterfall. So he probably just snuck over from the village through there. So I got a couple of tractors. I got this one over here who's hauling some stuff. Ah, using that wool to make tractors. 
<laughs> oh, that's not wool. What is that? The black rock. That's actually coal. Oh, okay. But the red wool is like the trap. right, right. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. What's that? You can turn the block. Yeah, inside the item frame? Yeah, I never knew you could do that. I just did that on accident. I was like, oh, cool. Oh, learn something new every day. That is what the saying goes. Alright, up there is the massive one. I'm actually thinking about about building kind of like a witch's hut somewhere around in here to kind of go with the theme because this is more of an october -y kind of area, obviously. Right. I like the waterfall over there, and I like the way it looks over there. It's already got the one big build. That's a simple build, I would say, compared to others. Mm -hmm. But I think I might like to put, like, a witch's house up on the hill there or something, or maybe somewhere, and then set it right. up with, uh, like, jumping scare tricks and things like that. Like, um... You can use green With slime blocks. With an actual blocks. witch inside. Yep, you could do that too. Put a name tag on her. But I was thinking, yeah, get some green slime blocks and put some uh, armor stands up and make those like jump scare out at people. Hmm. And this is the big farm. Mm hmm. It is quite large. <clears throat> you mind if I take one? Not at all. Oh, you took it. Oh, did I? Sorry, here, I gotcha. There it is, suck it up, there you go. Nom nom nom. What else is there? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> nice helmet. Right? Ready for some Enderman? I believe the, uh... I believe monsters don't attack you at night if you wear a pumpkin helmet possible. Are you saying I should get a pumpkin helmet? I'm just saying I think that's a thing that's a thing. Or maybe it used to be a thing. I don't remember. I know Endermen don't attack you when you can look at them. The dragon will attack you. Yeah. Dragon attacks you regardless. Dragon will attack you in creative mode. Have you tried any uh, texture packs? I have a couple for green screen stuff, but I haven't really done too much other than that. There are some out there that look really nice. Like, uh, especially ones that are built to make uh, all of the components look like medieval castles more so. Mm -hmm. You'll get like rounded logs and the uh, the bricks will look like more like castle bricks. Right. Oh, hi. Alright, so this was my excavation site build where I was kind of experimenting with converting existing structures into something else. I did watch uh, a little bit of the one where you were digging out around here and trying to figure stuff out, and then we're starting to build other stuff. Y'all, I so would I say I've, some of that. I would say I've gotten better at it. I enjoy doing time lapse things where things are revealed or built, or even destroyed. So when I'm digging stuff up, I kind of enjoy that. It's cathartic for me. Set it to music and just kind of chill and watch it kind of mesmerize. So did you uh, find the chest in this? Or Temple? <laughs> While I was digging, I think of a creeper blew it up. Oh, that's that's unfortunate. It's too oh, bad. Oh, I see they switched to uh, clay instead of having the wool. Oh, we just missed it. Is it past noon? This is... Have you seen this? Mm-mm. At noon, there's a daylight sensor way off that way underneath a well. Right. And when it, when it hits noon, the signal makes it all the way here and the pistons pull it down, then pull it out of the way, and you fall to your death in a fiery pit. <laughs> Except it's not that bad. I'll show you. Fiery pit of doom. I'm kind of regretting putting on a pumpkin helmet now because I'm having to run at angles so that I can see forward. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the fiery pit up there and then you actually make it into the water. And then here's the portal. <laughs> so let's go and uh, okay. 